Everybody, it's time with Christmas Light Contractors, and I'm just going to go over the results of the clip test for 2023. Uh, I've broken them down into two groups. One is purpose-built clips, meant specifically for shingles, uh, and then the other ones are universal clips, which go on gutters and shingles. The difference is, purpose-built clips will keep the bowl pointing outwards, um, whereas shingle or you know universal. You know, universal clips, they, on the shingles, they point upwards and on the gutters, they point outwards. That used to be a real problem uh, before they added the core into a lot of bulbs. Now they have light that goes out through the sides as well as through the tip. Uh, so it's not very noticeable at night anymore when bulbs are pointed upwards versus outwards, at least not even remotely uh, the same as five years ago before they came out with that core design on a lot of these bulbs. All right, so first thing, shingle tab. This is the traditional pointing out clip. Uh, this is the uh, go-to by most installers. It's fairly inexpensive, um, easy to put onto a bolt, right? And the biggest downside of it is what you see here. You see a lot of plastic, right? So it doesn't look great during the day. Um, even at night, you can kind of see them because the light reflects off of it. So. That is the biggest concern that people have. The other concern is how well it holds into the shingles. This is very flimsy, very sloppy, doesn't have any kind of, uh, you know, arch to it or anything to create friction. It's just a lot of surface area that allows the friction to occur. Um, this had the worst results of all. In fact, half the tests I did, I, I did 10 pulls on every test. On, on every clip and half the test didn't even come up with a measurable sign of how much this was actually taken to pull out which means it was less than 0.1 pounds okay so these fall out and if you're somebody that installs in september chances are they're not going to last until christmas you're going to be back out there repairing the work so that's a big deterrent um new to this year is the pro clip plus this got the best metrics of any particular uh, product that we we uh, tested this year. Um, it's black, it's the only one that's black, uh, and it's a very, very good clip for a number of reasons. So if you look at it, one, towards the back, that has an arch, right? It also has a claw on the back. If you look at that claw on the top side, that actually grips to the top of the, sh the shingles. So between those two things, this particular clip, it required about 2.6 pounds of force to be able to pull this out of the shingle. I mean, that's that's pretty amazing. That's over double almost all these other clips. So that was a really incredible result. The way it attaches, I know a lot of people always are concerned, like if, if I'm going to you know take down, if I'm doing takedowns on Christmas lights at the end of the season, is it gonna pull out of the clip? I mean, the long and short of it is, no, I'm gonna grab the clip. Look, this isn't coming out, guys. No matter how hard I pull, if I pull hard enough, I'll break the clip probably, right? But ultimately, that is definitely pulling out with everything else. The way they attach it, it has like three different clip points. So it has one there, it has one there, and it has one up top here. Now this top one is interesting because it goes around the factory clip, right? So it uses that factory clip as an attachment point, and it also goes across the top of the actual socket. It's got two others around the socket right here, and then it's also got a retaining clip on the side where that where this cable comes through, right? So the socket wire goes through, it's got a retaining clip on both sides. So they have thought about takedown, right? They wanna make sure that the clip comes with the actual bolt. So ultimately, um, this is the Pro Clip Plus. They had the Pro Clip last year. Pro Clip last year, it's a great clip as well. I really liked it last year. I didn't see any complaints with it. Uh, there were concerns that in one of the biggest things that they changed between the Pro Clip Plus and the Pro Clip from 2022, is this socket now sits back over top of the shingle, okay? Before it sat forward. And, you know, it, it didn't really matter because they angled it upwards, so it kind of 
you know, flex the plastic to point straight is, is really what happened with that. And so, um, you know, some people are like, it would be great if it was sitting back o over top of the shingles. They listened to you guys, they changed it. And by far, this was the best clip design that we tested when it comes to uh, holding onto the shingle. There was nothing even close, okay? So the price, of course, is the most expensive. So you gotta justify, is that worth paying the additional cost? I think the cost of it was 25, 25, 25.8 cents, I think. So 20, you know, roughly 26 cents for one of those clips. Shingle tap is somewhere in the neighborhood of like 17, 17 and a half cents or something like that. So I base these prices off of what lightsforsale.com or Christmas Life Contractor USA, uh, dot com sells the product for in a case. So if you buy a case, that's the price per clip, okay? Now, the next thing that we tested was the Minling clip. This was the best bang for your buck last year. Sorry, Minling clip. This is the best bang for your buck last year, okay? They have a great formation on the bottom part that goes into the shingle. Um, and then they use kind of a more rigid plastic than the rest. Now, the, if there's one downside to this, it's that this plastic typically only lasts about three years. That being said, we didn't have one single complaint about this clip last year. This was by far, in my opinion, the best bang for your buck for a clip you could get, okay? It's a really great clip. It's 11 and a half cents per clip. It holds on remarkably well. There is a new clip, as you saw in the results, that holds on better than this. You just have to justify, is it worth the additional cost? 11 and a half cents for a clip that lasts three years, right? Um, and, and holds on really well. I mean, it was one of the better clips that held on last year, about, you know, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, I think, 0.9 pounds to pull this clip. So 0.9 pounds um, to pull this one out, I think. And that's a, I mean, that's that's quite a bit of force. I mean, this one, you know, shingle tab on average, which we've been using for a decade or so, uh, this one pulled out at 0.4 average. So, um, you know, that's not that's not great, but this this one holds on at least twice as well. Uh, like I said, great bang for your buck. Uh, so if you like universal clips, that's a great one. Last year we tested this one. This is the Tough Clip Flex Clip, okay? It has a bin tab on the back. So I tested it both ways. Now some people really dislike putting that bin tab in because it's always keeping pressure on it and it pushes the shingles apart really far in some areas. So you get a camp of people for sure that will refuse to bin that tab even if it makes a better performance. Now this clip was 0.6 pounds. It's not very good, okay, when you don't bin that tab over. When you bin the tab over, it holds really well. 1.9 average pounds to pull this thing out, right? So. This is a uh, great clip if you're gonna use it how it's intended, but some people don't like possibly deforming the shingles too much, and they also worry about, um, you know, the, uh, well, I mean, they worry about the cost, right? I mean, cost of it is somewhere in the neighborhood of like 20 cents for one of these. So those are the two deterring factors. Uh, the amount of time that it takes actually to install two, to have them bend it over. Um, is something that some people, you know, when they're doing a lot of volume, thousand houses or so, they, they don't want to deal with that. So, uh, they came out with a solution for that. New solution, the wedge clip. So this is the first time anybody's really talking about this clip. Brand new this season, 2023, okay? It looks very much like the flex clip, but the bottom has changed. So the bottom has been lengthened out and now it has a, an arch in it no different than the Minlian clip or the uh, the Pro Clip uh, Plus clip, right? So it's got an arch in there. It's much longer on the bottom, okay? So I don't know if you can tell it, but it's it's like an additional, I think it was three quarters of an inch longer than the other uh, Flex clip, okay? So this clip did incredibly well. I think it pulled 1.4 pounds average. Now this is just like slide it in, it just works, right? So this is a great clip that's gonna hold on to shingles. Now, this is the same thing, it's a flex clip, so you know you can attach it by just sliding it over and then um, putting it on like that, or you can unscrew the bulb and put the bulb in. But it's a circle clip, goes all the way around, and it holds in. Now, if there's one thing that like people in general um, you know, complain about on flex clips, it's, it's that they don't hold like super straight, so the bulb, you know, if you've got it sitting here on a, a gutter, you know, the bulb can wobble up and down. Um, they don't tend to hold incredibly well. It's very dependent on the socket wire that you use though. So 
Um, you know, if you're very particular about that, I'd say go with Minlian. Minlian holds the bulb straight, like on almost every socket wire that I've seen. You just have to make sure you screw the bulb in tight enough. But those are the results, right? Um, in general, there is no clear winner, okay? Um, because there's not one that is the best product for the best price. So you gotta justify, is that better product worth the price? You know, you've gotta make that decision of what is the best product for you, uh, given how you install it. If you're going to point all bulbs outwards, right? There's some people that firmly believe in that, and that's fine. Charge appropriately for it, okay? I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments. As far as metrics go, ProClip Plus, hands down, beats everything. Very incredible clip, just a little more expensive. This one, the Minlin clip, still probably the best bang for your buck. Uh, and this one, which is the, um, the wedge clip or whatever, this wedge clip is going to do wonders this year. You guys have a great rest of your day. Um, and it happens to be my birthday, so I guess I'm going out for dinner with my wife.